I have read, I have sung, all the songs of all your love and what it's done. I have prayed, and I have prayed, to the best of my abilities allowed. I have read, and I have sung, all the songs of all your love and what it's done. I have prayed, and I have praised, to the best of my abilities allowed. My God, I know that I'm your child and all you ask of me is to believe. Greater are you over the worst of things. Yes, Jesus, under your loving reign, I restore. Oh, Jesus, now all that I have is yours. Stronger are you. You carry me in your embrace. Oh, Jesus, I'm changing through all of my days. My reward. Oh, merciful God, knowing that I am yours, I am yours. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Lord, I'm yours. Oh, Jesus, glory be to your name, Lord. I have seen you do. In the shadow of the art I meant to move. Oh, glory to Jesus. I, I know that you are good. And the times of mine is love is falling down. My God, I know that I'm your child and all you ask of me is to believe greater are you over the worst of things oh merciful God under your love we reign my reward I restore now all that I am is yours. Stronger are you. You carry me in your embrace. Yes, Jesus. I'm changing through all of my days. My reward, my reward. Is knowing that I am yours. Are you greater? Are you Jesus over the worst of my pain? Oh, merciful God, glory to your name, Jesus. Under your loving reign, I restore. Yes, Lord, now all that I am is yours glory be to jesus stronger are you lord you carry me in your embrace glory be to god my reward is knowing that I am yours. All that I am, I place in your hands. All I desire to be in your plans. 
Let mercy surround me and grace overwhelm me in your meekness. Help me to stand. In my weakness, you help me to stand, Lord. All that I am, I place in your hands. All my desire is to, to live in your plans. Let your mercy surround me, Lord. Let your love overwhelm me. In my weakness, you help me to stand. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Greater are you over the worst of things. Under your loving reign, I restore, yes, Lord. Now all that I am is yours. Stronger are you. You carry me in your embrace. And changing through all of my days, my reward is knowing that I am yours. I'm greater are you, Lord, over the worst of my pain. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Under your loving reign. I restore now all that I am is yours Jesus stronger are you you carry me in your embrace and changing through all of my days my reward, my reward is knowing that I am yours. I am yours. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. Jesus, you carry me in your embrace. And my desire is to be in your plan. All that I am is yours. Thank you, Jesus. Let mercy surround you. Let his grace overwhelm you. In your weakness, Jesus will help you to stand. All that you are and all that I am is for Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Grace and peace be unto you today, my brothers and sisters, from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. We are here today in the presence of the Lord to lift up his holy name and to worship him and to give him all the glory and the praise. Grace and peace be belongs to you today, now and forever, forever and evermore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh, mighty God. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name, Jesus. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your holy name. As we come before your present. With singing and praise, we just continue to ask you for mercy and strength. Let your mercy surround we. Let, us, let your grace overwhelm we. In our weakness, Lord, you help us to stand. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our reward is knowing that we belong to Jesus. And so when we lift up the name of Jesus and worship him and believe that he died on the cross for us, our reward is knowing that we belong to Jesus and we are in his plan. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, merciful Lord, as I come before your throne of grace, Lord God, to honor you and to lift up your name, to glorify your name, and to lift up your name above every name, Lord Jesus, I pray, God, that you'll fall afresh on me, Lord God. Let everything that I do or say bring glory unto your holy name, as I ask of you, in Jesus' precious name I pray, amen and amen. Glory be to your holy name. Fall afresh on me, Lord. Use me as your mouthpiece. Use me as your masterpiece. Reveal that you have through me, Lord. I make myself available for you so you can use me for your glory and for your praise. I am indeed your workmanship and I am here to do your work. And I thank you that you allow me to be here. And thank you that you have gave me the resources that I need to preach the gospel unto the poor, to preach the gospel, to preach the good news unto the uttermost part of the world so that your name will be glorified. As I tell you thanks, in Jesus' precious name I pray. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, mighty God. Glory to Jesus. Today, as we get into the scripture and search the scripture so we can edify ourselves through the word of God. God says he honor his word above his name. And when we search the scripture, we can find, we can find comfort in the word of God and find strength in the word of God and so when we search the scripture and understand the scripture we will find comfort and strength so we can stand up against the plans of the enemies and do that which is right in the sight of God so that we will be able to withstand against every poison dart of the enemies the word of God let us understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so we have to use the word of God to protect ourselves and to protect our family from the fiery poison darts of the enemy. And so it is good to use the word of God and apply it to the enemy because the word of God said his word is life. And so is the word will strengthen us and give us that which we need to stay alive. Indeed, glory be to God one more time again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so today we are out. Today we are emphasizing about the love, the love of God. And so today topic is love is your transportation. To your destination glory be to god hallelujah love is your transportation to your destination glory be to god hallelujah love is your transportation to your destination almighty god glory to god hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory to be to God, hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 16, the Bible says, A man gift makes room for him and brought him before great man. Glory be to God. A man gifts make rooms, room for him, and brought him before great man. And so today we want to figure out who that great man is that the Bible is talking about. Who that great man is. We want to know who that great man is indeed. And so I believe that great man is Jesus. 
a man gives makes room for him and brought him before great man and so we receive gifts from god almighty jesus said all power was given unto him from god almighty and so god gave jesus all powers he gave him the gifts all spiritual gifts god gave it to jesus and so jesus can give those gifts to us as well because because he have all those power because it was given unto him and so i believe a man gift is the transportation to his destination but love is the driver, the key, the oil, the brakes, and the gas for that transformation. And so, without love, we are nothing. A man gift is the transportation to his destination. Love is the driver, the key, the oil, the brake, and the gas of, of the transportation. Then you will see the transformation to your destination. Glory be to God. Then you will see the trans transformation to your destination. Almighty God, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah then you will see the transformation to your destination and so the bible says in the book of romans chapter 12 verse 2 be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed how can you be transformed be ye not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. How do you transform by the renewing of your mind? You can only do that with love. You can only do that with love. And so God gave mankind gifts. He gave them gifts so that they can do his work and be his workmanship. Because without those gifts, you are useless and so some he gave physical gifts and some he gave them spiritual gifts and the bible speaks about spiritual gifts that he gave mankind spiritual gifts that he gave mankind glory be to god in the book of first corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 and we are reading from the King James Version. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28, the Bible says, And God had set some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophet, thirdly teacher, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helpers of government, diverse type of tongues. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God had set some in the church. First, apostles. Secondary, prophet. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. The gift of healings. Helpers of governments. Diverse of tongues. And so, we want to trust God and understand how can we activate these love and use them according to the will of God and allow your gift to take you to your destination because the Bible says a man gifts makes room for him and your gift is your transportation to your destination but in order for you to be an effective driver of that transportation you have to use love in order to operate those transportation because it is a spiritual transportation that cannot be operated without love it takes love to operate that transportation to transform you 
to your destination. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. As I continue to read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1. Paul says, Though I speak with tongues of angels and of man, tongues of angels and of not charity, I am becomes a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. Glory be to God. Paul says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1, Though I speak with tongues of angels and have not charity, I am becomes a sounding brat or a tingling cymbal. And we want to emphasize what Paul was talking about when he made those reference. He was talking about if you have spiritual gifts and you don't have love, then you are useless. He says, though I speak with tongues of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. Meaning that all the gifts that God gave you to use in the church, first apostle, secondary prophet, thirdly teacher, miracles, healing, gifts of government, diverse type of tongues. If you don't have love, you are a sounding brass and a tingling cymbal. Meaning that those gifts don't have any effect. And therefore, they will not be able to take you to your destination. And that is why I said, love is the oil, the gas, the brakes, and all these things, the engine, the driver, to your transportation that will transform you to your destination. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2, the Bible says, Though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could move mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Charity is love. And so some scriptures call charity as love. Love is charity. And so when the Bible speaks about charity, it's talking about love. And so if you have all these gifts that you could move mountain and prophesy and do miracle working by the Spirit of God and you don't have love, then you are nothing. You are a, so a sounding brass and a tingling symbol. Glory be to God. And so it takes love to activate your, your gift, to transform you to your destination. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It takes love to transform your, your gift, activate your gift, and take you to your destination. Indeed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All we have to do is whatever we do, we use love to activate those gifts so that they will take us to our destination. Because the Bible says, he gave all man, all man he gave spiritual gifts. As I continue to read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. The Bible says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. And so God gave each and every one of us the manifestation of the Spirit. And so whatever Spirit, whatever you do, it is a manifestation of the Spirit. And when you ate your brothers and sisters and have bitterness and grudges and come against them with 
bitter ash thought and hate your brothers and sisters. That is a manifestation of the devil. Because the Bible says you don't have charity, you don't have love, and you are a sounding brass and a tingling cymbal. In order for your gifts to be effective and be convicted, you have to have love within your gift. Because it takes love to activate those gifts that God gave you. He said it gave them to every man. And so all we have to do is to use love with those gifts and they will take us to our destination. And our destination is Jesus. Jesus is our destination. He sits on the throne of grace. He sits in the judgment seat. And whatever we do, whether good or bad, the Bible says we have to answer to him on the, J on the day of judgment. And so he will be there to question us whether we do good or bad. And the more good you do is the more points you obtain and the more grace and favor will be upon your life. And like I always said, it will go on and on and on to your first and third generation. And that is why it is important to do that which is good so you can pass down those blessings and your first and third generation will be able to reap those blessings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because we are the generation of Jesus and so we have to know our roots and know where we are coming from so that we will know where we are going glory be to God hallelujah glory be to his holy name glory be to God hallelujah and we want to use David as a reference about how David have the gift of God and how he used love to activate those gifts and how those gifts transform David and take him to sit on the throne and be king over Israel. And so the Bible says that David was a shepherd boy. He, 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 he had the gift of dancing, singing, and he loved to praise God in his heart. He had a special love for God. And so David, while he was in the, in the field with his father's sheep, he would sing and praise God and he, he would watch over the sheep. David was a shepherd boy. And because he was protecting the sheep, he loved those sheep to his heart. And David will do anything to protect those sheep. And so whatever it takes, for him to protect those sheep, he will do it indeed. And it's the same thing that Jesus do for us when he came. Whatever it takes for him to protect us, he will do it. And if it means that he has to lay down his life on the cross in order for us to be protected, then he will do it and that's what he do indeed. That's what he do indeed and so the bible says in the book of psalms chapter 23 verse 1 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want david know that when you are acting in love and operating in love then you shall not be in need of anything god will protect you and cover you he said the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. And David was a shepherd of the sheep. And we see when Jesus come, he identify himself as a shepherd and we are his sheep. And God sent Samuel to anoint David as a king over Israel in order for him to be effective. God had was to use the gift that he had and use him as a king over Israel. And so the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 23 verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou and oil, my cup run over. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord 
forever. David is making a decree over his life. He said, surely goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. Now and forever. David know what it is to protect his sheep. He know what it is to protect his sheep. And he was operating out of love. Because he loved those sheep to the point that he will give up his life for those sheep. And that is true love. Because the Bible let us understand that there is no greater love than a man laid on his life for his friend. And so David was willing and able to lay down his life for the sheep because he loved them. And so today I want to ask you, are you willing to lay down your life for your friend? Are you willing to lay down your life for Jesus? Are you willing to lay down your life for Jesus? Are you willing to lay down your life for a friend? And so when God speaks about laying on your life, it means that you should do everything until it hurts so that your friend will know that you love them indeed. And so the Bible says in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 34. To Saul, your servant have been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion, a bear came to carry away his father flock. I went after it and rescued the sheep from his mouth. I went after it and rescued the sheep from his mouth. And I killed, I killed the bear and killed the lion. Rescue the sheep from the mouth of the lion and from the mouth of the bear. And so you see that God indeed used David as an example to rescue his sheep. David willing to lay down his life for his sheep. And he, 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 he struck the bear and struck the lion and rescued the sheep from the lion mouth. And so today God wants to rescue you from the mouth of the lions. Whatever you are doing or facing in life today that is not of God, God wants to rescue you today out of the mouth of the lion and the palm of the bears. And so David do that and God used David to sit, under the, sit over Israel as a king. Why? Because David was a man with the art of love and because he was a man of a art of love, he would fight for his sheep and because he was a shepherd boy protecting his father's sheep he was doing it with joy and, and humility and so God used his gift and promote him to be a king over Israel and today we see that some Solomon the son of David God appoint him to be sit to sit on his father David throne and so we see that Solomon obtained a blessing from David his father because David loved and David. God promotes Solomon because of David's loyalty to him. And so we see where David, Solomon obtained a very special blessing from God because of his father David. So it is important that we be careful or be mindful of the things that we do or say against our brothers and sisters we have to be careful and so God is saying to you today that he want to rescue you from out of the mouth of the lion and the bear and so the lion and the bear was preparing to eat David's sheep and so David said he prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and so God want to if God wants to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And when your enemies is getting ready to eat you and to snatch you up, God said he will be on time to rescue you out of the palm of the bear and out of the mouth of the lions. And so today I want you to know that all you have to do is to trust God 
even though you might in a situation where you are in the in a, in the circle of the of the lions in a circle of the bear which is considered to be your enemy god said while they are preparing to eat you and to snatch you up he will rescue you out of the mouth of the lions and the bear and that is why david said they prepare at a table before him in the presence of his enemies because the enemies was planning and to eat up David. But God rescued him out of the mouth of the lions and the bear. And today I want to reassure you that just like God rescued those sheep out of the lion mouth and the palm of the bear, which was his enemy, you might be in a surrounding with attack from your enemy. The enemy might attack in your finance. The enemy might attack in your relationship with God. He might attack in your marriage. He might attack in your mortgage, your family, your relationship with your spouse. He might attack in your health. But I want to tell you today, in the midst of your surrounded and in the presence of your enemy, just like the enemy planned a table to eat you up and to snatch you up, God said he will grab you, he will take you out of the mouth of the lion and pull you out and he said your skin will not be torn and you will not be hurt jesus want to snatch you out of the mouth of the lions and the bear all you have to do is have love in your heart wash your hands from iniquity and trust the almighty god the most high god and allow god to fight your battle the word of God let us understand that the battle is the Lord. The battle does not belong to you. It belongs to God. Are you going to allow God to fight your battle or you want to fight your battle on your own? You cannot fight your battle on your own. You have to have God inside of you to fight your battle. When David rescued the sheep out of the mouth of the lion, he, da, he did not do it by his own will and own strength, but he do it by the power of the most high God. And that is why David said unto to Goliath, that who is this uncircumcised, who is this uncircumcised Philistine to defile the army of the living God? And so God want to, just like God want to, rescue you out of the mouth of the lion just like how he gave david that power to overcome goliath and to rescue the sheep out of the mouth of the lion and so today your enemy might be preparing a table to have you to eat you and to snatch you up but god said to tell you this morning that he will rescue you out of the mouth of the lion and the bear and your skin shall not be torn because he is with you Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All you have to do is to believe that God is in the midst of everything that you do. He said he will snatch you out of the mouth of the lions and the bear. And you shall not be defeated. Even though they prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. God said he will rescue you even at the very last moment. Right at the table with your enemies when they prepare to eat you for their meal god said he will snatch you out of the mouth of the lion and the bear what a reassurance god is giving us today all we have to do is to trust god and trust the process and let god be god in your life god want to use your gift to elevate you to transport you to your destination your destination is jesus and that is why paul said if you have not love you are a sounding brass and a tingling symbol glory be to god hallelujah glory be to his holy name hallelujah god is reassuring us today that if we trust him and believe in him consistently he will be willing and able to allow us to be rulers over the plans of the enemies because he gave us all spiritual gifts and equipped us to fight the battle. But those spiritual gifts have to be with love because God is love. Without love, your gifts are not effective. The devil don't mind you have the gift that God gave you as long as you are not walking in your purpose. 
as long as you're not walking into your purpose because the bible says each and every one of us are here for a purpose and if you are not walking in your purpose then the devil don't mind you have god gift when you are walking in your purpose that when the devil becomes troubled and becomes afraid of you and that's how when he decided to launch an attack on you in order to defeat you so that you will not able to activate those gifts that God gave you and that is why it is important for us to love each other and if we sin against our brother we repent and turn from our wicked ways and give it back to Jesus and allow Jesus to activate those gifts that he gave us so we can use them effectively glory be to God hallelujah glory be to God let us give God a praise hallelujah glory to God hallelujah the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 9 when Jesus has called when Jesus had called the 12 together he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases glory be to god hallelujah when jesus had called the 12 together he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure all diseases glory be to god and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal all sick all these spiritual gifts that God gave you my brothers and sisters children of God if you don't have love within your gift is of no effect because you have people who do witchcraft they manifest spiritual gifts but they use it in an evil way and that is why people would go to to um to witchcraft people and people read them and tell them their, their future and tell them all these things why because they have a spiritual gifts but they use it in a in a wicked way and an evil way and it manifests evil evil things when god sent moses to pharaoh to throw down his rod before pharaoh to show him a sign moses throw down his rod to pharaoh and the rod becomes a serpent but when Pharaoh showed on Israel, his rod becomes a serpent too. So that tells me that he have spiritual gift, but it was an evil way he's using the gift that God gave him. Pharaoh did not have love in his heart. And that is why his gift was not effective and was able to overcome the gift that God gave Moses. Because Moses was operating out of love, which is the love of God. And because Moses was operating out of the love, which is the love of God, it activate his spiritual blessings to manifest and, pro, pro, and, to, and to overpower Pharaoh's spiritual gift that he have. And the Bible says all gift was given unto man to, 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 to profit with all. And so whether you have an evil gift, an evil spiritual gift, God gave it to you. Because the Bible said all spiritual gift was given to every man. And some man used those spiritual gift in an evil way. And some use them in a spiritual way. And that is why sometimes you have people in church when you mess up again. When say the blood of Jesus against you. And they sort of try to curse you. And try to call down a curse on you. But if they have love in their heart. They will pray for you instead of call down curse on you. Because they knew that they have a spiritual gift. But sometimes they use it in an in a evil way. And so God wants to help them to understand today that whatever you do, you have to do it with love and do it with humility. And allow God to activate those gifts in your life and allow you to be effective and, be, and have power. The Bible says in the book of the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 3. He told them, take nothing for the journey. No staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. Almighty oh, God, glory to Jesus. Jesus told his disciples when he told them to go and proclaim the kingdom 
and to heal all the sick. He told them, take nothing for the journey. No staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. Because he want them to depend on him. He want them to depend on him knowing that he will provide everything according to their need. And so want them to depend on him knowing that if they continue to have love in their heart, then they will indeed see the manifestation of, the, of their, their gifts. And the, those gifts will lead them to Jesus, which is the throne. And that's why the Bible says a man give, make room for him and brought him before great man. Glory to Jesus. And that man is Jesus. Jesus wants to take you out of the, the, the plan that the enemy wants to snatch you out of the mouth of the lion and the bear and rescue you. And today, if you are struggling with any addiction that is not of God, just trust God in the process and allow God to snatch you out of the mouth of the lion and the bear. Glory be to God. As they prepare their table to eat you and to snatch you up, God said he will be there with you at that table to snatch you out of the mouth of the lion and the bear. And if you are struggling with any financial issue today or any addiction, we just want to help you to turn it over to Jesus and trust in God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Because the Bible says the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle is not yours. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Grace and peace be unto you today, my brothers. From God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. As we come to a close today, we just want to help you to be encouraged and allow God to be God in your life. And so when people come and tell you that you are not worthy and you are not qualified to use the gift that gave God gave you, plead the blood of Jesus and declare the blood of Jesus over your life and allow God to activate those gifts in your life and allow God to take you to, is to your destination in Jesus. He said he gone to prepare a place for us. So when he returned, we will be with him at that place that he prepared for us. And that is why our gift has to take us to our destination by the grace of God and by the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed on that cross so that we can redeem our benefits and redeem salvation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As we come to a close today, I just want to continue to ask you to be strong and to be encouraged in the Lord, knowing that you are when you are in the arms of Jesus, no man can pluck you out and you will be saved indeed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, merciful Lord, as I do with that you have commanded me to do, Lord God, and I speak of the authority of your Son, Jesus Christ. I speak that which you download into me, Lord God, to deposit into the, into the spirit of your people. Lord God, I pray that they will receive this revelation in their spirit and operate in love, operate in unity, operate in their calling, operate in their gift, Lord God, because you said that their gift is a transportation to their destination, Lord God. Help them to have love in their heart so they can activate those gifts, Lord God, and transform them and take them to their destination. Their destination is you, God, because you said you're going to prepare a place for us. And when you return, Lord God, we will be there with you and you want to take us to you, to that place. Lord God, help us to be strong. Help us to walk in love and unity with our one another. Help us to walk in humility with you, Lord God. Help us see our brothers and sisters as the temple of the living God. Help us to love each other and help us to lay down our life for each other, showing each other that we love them. Help us that whatever we do or say, we will be the light of the world. Help us, Lord God, we will be the salt of the earth. Lord God, help us to walk in humility, Lord God. Help us to live a life that will present you, Lord God. Your, set, your word said that holiness is not talking and holiness is not operating under 
and emotion, but holiness is the lifestyle that you live. And Lord God, help us live a lifestyle of holiness so that the world will see our holiness and see us as a light and come to worship you, which is, in, which is the Father. Lord God, I pray that you will continue to use me for your glory. Cover these people under the sound of my voice, wherever they are today. Under the sound of my voice, I pray, God, that you'll cover them, you'll watch over them, you'll protect them from every plan of the enemy. So rescue them, Lord God, out of the plans of the enemy. Rescue them, Lord Jesus, out of the mouth of the lion and, the, and the mouth of the bear. Lord God, as the enemy prepared to eat them, Lord God, at the table, Lord Jesus, I pray that you'll rescue them, Lord God, because your word said, Lord God, you will, you will prepare a table in the presence of our enemy. And you will rescue us, Lord God, right there in the presence of the enemy. When the enemy believe that they got us and ready, getting ready to eat us, Lord God, you said you will be there on time to rescue us out of the mouth of the enemies, out of the mouth of the lion and the bears. Lord God, we pray that you'll continue to use us for your glory. Help us, help us, Lord God, to walk in humility and walk in in, in, in strength and love with one another so that your name can be glorified. Lord God, you said, if one soul repent, Lord God, the angels in ever rejoice said, and Lord, help us to live a life to lead at least one person to come to you, Lord God, and to turn over their life to you. We pray that you allow us to be here today in the land of the living, and we pray that you'll continue to use us while we are here. Let everything that we do or say bring glory unto your name as we ask of you in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, have mercy upon the life of my family. Have mercy upon everyone who is under the sound of my voice. Have mercy upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord God, protect them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord God. Give them strength when they need it most and cover them under your precious blood. Lord God, I pray that you'll cover my wife, Lord Jesus, under your blood, Jesus. Protect her, Lord God, as she travel this road, go to work back and forth. Lord God, I pray that you'll give her strength. Protect her car from mechanical failure. Protect her car from accident. Protect her, Lord God, and give her strength as she continues to do that which you have commanded her to do, Lord God. Give her a heart of love, a heart of compassion. Help her, help her to be strong. Cover her under your blood. Have mercy over my family, Lord God, my daughter Janelle, my, my daughters. Have mercy upon my daughters, Lord God, Janelle, Christina, Trishana, wherever they are. I pray that you'll cover them under your blood. Lord God, have mercy upon O'Neill, wherever he is, Lord God. Cover him under your blood. Moses, have mercy upon his life. Cover him under your precious blood, Lord God. Have mercy, Lord God, upon my children, mothers. Wherever they are, Lord God, I pray a blessing over their life that you'll protect them, Lord God, out of the plans of the enemy. Rescue them out of the mouth of the lions and the bear, Lord God. Rescue them from the plans of the enemies. Watch over them, Lord God, and give them favor. Lord God, let your favor be with them, Lord God. Let everything that they do, let they have favor, Lord God. You give favor unto Daniel in the king's palace, Lord God with Nezekanezer, Lord God, because he was faithful to you. And Lord God, I pray that they will be faithful to you, Lord God, and that you will give them favor in whatever they do, Lord God. Let everything that they do or say bring blessing to your holy name. As I ask of you in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Cover my mother under your blood, Jesus. Cover my sisters and brothers under your blood, Jesus. Cover my sisters and brothers under your blood, Jesus. My mother under your blood, Jesus. Cover them under your precious blood. Have mercy upon their life. Cover my nieces and my nephews. Wherever they are, Lord God, I pray that you'll continue to watch over them. Help them to turn from their wicked ways and seek your face. Help them, Lord God, to come to you and turn their life over to you. Help them to give their life to you, God. Rescue them out of the plans of the enemy and wash them under your blood. Cleanse them from their unrighteousness and help them to be old. Help them, Lord God, to be in your plans. As I ask of you, in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. As I tell you thanks, 
In Jesus' precious name, I pray. My brothers and sisters, like I oftentimes say, we are love and faith gospel ministry. We are a non-profit organization. And so we are inviting you to go to our website and be a blessing in whichever way you can. Our website is loveandfaithgospel.org. Be a blessing whichever way you can. Our desire and our mission, our vision is to continue to seek that which is lost and to provide help for the homeless, the less fortunate, and to provide help for those who are in need. We provide them with basic necessities. We provide them with food, clothes, and shoes, and clothing. So whatever you can do to be a help, we'll appreciate it. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support is highly appreciated. We will not take your support for granted. So please be sure to give your support as we pray for you. We ask for your support indeed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. We thank you for being a part of this great ministry today. Thank God for you one more time. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, as I tell you thanks, in Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Grace and peace be unto you, my brother, from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless.